Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how I got a McFarlane Toys Chaos Space Marine Artist Pro from this to this. The first step was disassembly and clean up of the mould lines, masking all major joints to allow assembly later on, followed by an undercoat of Mr. Surfacer 1200 mixed with Mr. Hobby levelling thinner. I then used Mr. Surfacer 500 to fill any cavitations or seam lines I've missed in the cleanup. It acts like a putty to help fill the smooth gaps. I pre shade with brown, and then brush on a base coat of Tamir XF21 Sky mixed with Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner. The thinner makes Tamir paint dry more like a lacquer, so it's harder, more durable, and more suitable for an action figure that is articulated and going to be handled for posing. Then add some chipping effects at this early stage using a small brush and a sponge and a light tapping motion, followed by chipping by MIG ammo all over the white spots. Doing this adds some depth to the chipping effect and will further blend into the surface later on with other layers of paint. I then mask everything using tape and cut with a knife any irregular shapes for the considerable amount of armor trim on the figure. Then used a gloss black enamel before applying Alclad 2 metallic paints over the top, followed with a gloss varnish. It all takes about 24 hours to dry between each layer. Then I blend in a dark green oil paint for a filter that will add shading and contrast to the green, concentrating on recesses of the model. After varnishing, I use various MIG enamel streaking grinds to create dirt effects. It's important to varnish between each stage to preserve the work that has already been done. The enamel and oil paints have a long working and drying time. This allows for subtle blending on the figure that I can control. I use a dry brush to blend and a brush moistened with thinners to produce streaking effects. I then weather any rust areas with dark rust oil paint followed by light rust oil paint. And then finished off the details with some brush painting. For tarnish on the metal, I use Citadel and Vallejo Verdigris acrylic paints, using acrylic thinners by MIG for cleanup as it's less aggressive than Tamiya thinners. For the head, I painted a purple pre shade, followed with flesh tone, which has a small amount of yellow and green added to create contrast. I highlighted with a brush, adding white to the mix. I masked using masking fluid and used Alclad 2 metallics for the face mask. Painting thinned oil paints in a glaze over the top of the base flesh colour it allows me to tint and bring the paint job to life. Then add some details. A little more weathering. And he looks like a Chaos Space Marine. I finish off all the other details on the model. Got hours of footage of this, but I don't want to bore you. So here's the finished result. Thanks for watching. this far then maybe hit that like button and maybe even hit the subscribe one go on i appreciate it